Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we can invoke sal a Salesforce flow, Salesforce auto launch flow from Postman or REST API. So we are back with another interesting topic. Uh, so starting with the basics, uh, what is flow in Salesforce? So flow represents a, a structure of a flow chart in Salesforce used to automate business process by collecting data, using that data to make things happen. And or uh, if we have an auto launch flow, we can uh, do some things from the back end, uh, like chain, make a DML call, etc. There are two different types of flows in Salesforce. One is screen flow and the other one is auto launch flow. Uh, these two are the major two types and within the auto launch flow, we have uh, many uh, categories like record triggered flow, schedule triggered flow, platform event triggered flow and auto launch flow with no trigger. Auto launch flow with no trigger means that this flow can be called, can be invoked from let's say another flow, uh, this flow can be invoked from let's say another flow and apex class or uh, rest API which we are going to see the demo today. Uh, one more thing is uh, we can only invoke this auto launch flow with no trigger using REST API, not any other flow. Uh, so let's not, not waste any time and uh, dive into the demo. So we will what we will do in this demo. So we will have an auto launch flow which will update the stage name of the opportunity to closed one when it receives a response from the external system is going to be postman in this case. So the external system will pass the external IDs uh, like of the opportunity as input, uh, which is required to update those opportunity records in Salesforce. Uh, so we will have our external ID field, which I'm going to show you uh, just after this. So we will use Postman, as I said, and we'll hit the flow endpoint URL just like any external system. So if you have watched my previous video where we call an integration procedure uh, using Postman, so this is somewhat similar uh, so you can rip, uh, think of a Salesforce flow as an integration procedure. So let's start. So this is the article which I have followed, uh, which says that launch a flow from REST API. So now uh, let me show you the flow first. So this is the flow which I have created update opportunity stage after external system processing. So what we are doing here, uh, if I open the get records, so I've created an external ID this external id is a collection variable and this is available for input uh, so uh, whatever input you will pass uh, from the external system and you have to check uh, this available for input checkbox to be considered that this is an input that will come from outside uh, so we are doing where external id in external ids so external id is a field and opportunity let me show you as well so I'm in the opportunity object manager. Uh, so this is the external ID field. The data type is number. It is an external ID and it is unique. So now let me go back to my flow. So what I'm doing now, uh, I'm uh, getting the count. How many opportunities are there in the external, uh, uh, when we, uh, how many opportunities are there from the get records? We use the equals count in the assignment uh, variable. <coughs> So now, uh, what is the opportunity size? Check opportunity size. So uh, uh, whenever we process something, so we will have an output as well, right? So we have created a variable that is a text variable and it is the output and we have checked this available for output. Whatever you check here, that will be available for output once the flow processing has been complete. So uh, we are checking if the flow uh, opportunity size, uh, list size is greater than zero, then go to the left, otherwise go to the right. Right, we have the assignment where we are saying there is no opportunity or to update. Now what we are doing? We are uh, traversing over the opportunity list. We have created a for loop and we are updating the stage name. So we are saying the current item from opportunity, uh, current item from the opportunity list dot stage name is equals to close one. We are updating the stage here. Then we have created a new collection variable which will store our opportunity to opportunities to update and we are adding the current item to this opportunity list to update. Now uh, what we are doing then we are updating the opportunity uh, that uh, opportunity collection variable we are updating and then we are uh, setting the output. The out if not if there is no error then all opportunities updated successfully 
otherwise uh, we are putting the fault message here uh, whatever is the error message so like this this is all about this flow so now let me let me go to my org so uh, i'm in my sales app sales app sales app has an account and a uh, united oil gas corporation and it has six opportunities or multiple opportunities so now um, all, all the opportunities are in the stage prospecting so right now what is happening is uh, these opportunities have been sent to the external system so that uh, some processing can happen and those that external system has provided this external id this external id uh, field which i am showing you here for example for this opportunity external id is 99 similarly for the next one external id would be some value uh, like which we have got from the external system 98 so now uh, once uh, the external system processes all the opportunity it will send a list of external ids and uh, which will update the stage of these opportunities to closed one so now uh, let me go to postman so in my postman uh, the first process is to authenticate so to authenticate using postman we will have a connected app so uh, if you want to know more how to log into postman i already have a video created on that you can watch that uh, but I'll be quick here. So I've created a new connected app where I've provided the callback URL as this. So this is the postman callback URL which you have to provide. And you have to enable the OAuth settings. Then from here, when you'll click on manage consumer details, you'll get the consumer key and the consumer secret which you have to input here in the authorization. So in the authorization from the type, select OAuth 2.0 then uh, uh, like get all these, fill all these details. So the call by, callback URL is the one which we have in the connected app. So this is the auth URL uh, slash OR2 slash authorize. This is the access token URL. Then we have the client ID and the client secret from the connected app. Then the client authentication is send client credentials in, in the body. And then uh, you have to click get new access token. So it is saying collecting new access token, proceed, use token. So now you have the author uh, in the headers, you can see that uh, we have a new uh, value added authorization where we have bearer slash access token. Now let me go to the body, the body, let me show you the URL first. So the URL is the my, the first part of the URL is your my domain. How you can see, get the my domain, my domain is this one. So this is the my domain. So this is the so this is the my domain, uh, and you can fetch it from here. And then the next part of the URL is slash services slash data slash version. Version is fifty eight point eight. So this is the REST API endpoint. Then we have the actions, we have the custom, uh, and we have the flow. So these three are used to uh, get uh, call the auto launch flow. And then after this, this is the API name of your auto launch flow. How to get this API name? Let's say you are in a, in the list of all flows. Uh, this is the flow which we have created. This is an auto launch flow. Click on drop down, view details and versions. And you have this flow API name here. So you get it from here. Now, uh, how, what would be the body? So the body would be by default, you will have an uh, JSON where you have the key as inputs. This inputs would be an array. Within it, you will ha you can provide your own custom inputs. So within this array, it uh, we have an object. This object has a key external IDs. This external IDs, as I showed you, I have created in my flow. If I go back, this is the collection variable external IDs, and this is available for input. So this is I've created in my flow. So I'm providing the external IDs as a list here and we will query all the opportunities and then we will uh, update those, the opportunity stage names. So let, let us test it. Let me click on send and all the opportunities has been updated successfully. So let me go back and let me see whether the opportunities were updated or not. Yeah, let me click on refresh boom the opportunities have been updated successfully also let us try an error scenario so let me uh, remove this 
So we don't have any opportunities. Let's see what happens now. So we have no opportunities to update since no external IDs was provided. So that's all for today's session and hope you like this video. So I always try to bring new topics so that you can expand your knowledge and learn more. So do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks everyone.